Today, stuff like the tunes, you're gonna have to rock your Bruce Lee wig to feel like a mighty guy. So as many of you know, Bruce Lee is my idol, okay? He's been my idol since I was four years old. So the fact when I started watching Naruto, there was a character, two characters actually, kind of based just on him, I fell in love with those characters. They are easily my favorite characters in the entire series because they train their asses off for their strength. They don't do this thing where it's just like, I'm gonna absorb this chakra or steal your eyes or do this or have this box power unleashed. I'm going to work my ass off through blood, sweat, effort, and everything to get it. So I freaking loved Rock Lee and my guy in Naruto. Just seeing someone work for their strength, that just, again, like that is like the key thing of why I even started off like the tune is just seeing someone who started off weak and trained to become stronger because you know, I was weak and you know, helpless back in the day for being chubby and being bullied and picked on. But these guys, they like worked their asses off to become the best of the best and it became freaking legendary shinobi. And I know a few people have already covered how to do this workout, but I gotta add my own Jack's Blade flair to it. Now the great thing about Rock Lee and Mike Guy's workout is the fact that you can always do it. All you're doing is constantly improving on yourself. You're trying to beat yourself. That's what makes it so fun. Um, phrasing? For example, let's say you can only do 50 push-ups max, but you say, I'm going to do 100 push-ups no matter what, and if I can't get to 100 push-ups, then I'm gonna have to do this many squats. That's constantly giving you a self-rule, which is discipline, and something to allow you to beat yourself. And Crazy. that is something that just builds character. The fact that you are doing something, saying you can do. Like, if you saw what if you can't reach 100 push-ups by yourself? The fact that you tried, and you're gonna keep trying to get to that, is so much better, and shows that you're constantly improving. So today's Tough Like the Tunes is gonna be practically a game of you trying to beat yourself. Hey, Out of phrasing. the exercises I show, try to do as many reps of them till failure, but pick a rep number that's so out there that you know you can't do. So when you get to the next exercise, it's gonna be like, I said I could do 100 push-ups, but if I can't do 100 push-ups, I'm gonna have to do 200 squats. And if I can't do 200 squats, I have to do this. You're constantly improving and beating yourself, just like Rock Lee and Mike Guy. So let's get filled with the power of youth. I'm just goofing off with the nunchucks right there. Uh, the first exercise we're going to do, uh, you already know them, anime god makers, aka push-ups, because every anime person does these to become like super powerful in the end. But um, I want to say like for this, pick a number that is ridiculously high for you, but not too high. So like something reasonable, but like it still be a bit out there. So I'm doing 100 push-ups without stopping, and if I can't do 100 push-ups without stopping, then I'm gonna have to do 500 body squats without stopping. So that's what I'm like making my challenge. My challenge to myself is if I cannot do the rep range of the previous set, I'm going to have to increase my rep ranges to the other set, like I'm doing well, actual Rock Lee's training. So right here, I'm doing approximately 300 body squats. Oh yeah, for fingertip push-ups, I have to admit this. If you are a beginner, do fingertip push-ups on your knees first, because if you do them wrong, you can actually break your finger if like you don't do them properly, like if you're a beginner. So make sure to like master the form on your knees, and then move up to do them like standard push-up style, but be careful as well. After that, I'm going to do Konoha sprints for there and back and that's going to be a hundred meters a uh, hundred meter sprint there and back and when I get back like when I run back I'm going to rest approximately 30 seconds and then I'm going to do that three more times after that I'm going to go into handstand walking now handstand walking is a bit difficult because it takes core control and balance and so like um, if you're a beginner it's going to be difficult to master so I decided to actually leave the site that I actually learned how to do handstand walking from in the link below so be sure to check out the description below of how to fully do it because they're really fun once you get the hang of them. And um, after that, we're going into jump rope 300 times without fail. That just means you're going to jump 300 times without messing up. If you mess up, that means you have to double up on your next exercise. So if you're in doing this, like saying, if I cannot do 300 jump ropes without fail, then I'll have to do more in my next exercise. That's the continual thing of Mike Guy and Rock Lee's training. So for handstand push-ups here, uh, again, they're a bit difficult to do. Uh, so I'm going to suggest doing them against the wall and also look at the link below. And then after that, we're going into punching and kicking practice and this is pretty common you know but um for kicking i'm not the best kicker at all like i'm good at like self pr protecting myself but my friend train go here is a phenomenal kick so i actually left a whole link in the description she goes into depth of like how to kick properly and that like how to get the hang of it so like i suggest that and remember
Dude, sucking at something is the first step towards being sort of good at something. After that, we're going into one-arm push-ups without failure. Remember, you can just do these on your knees first and then just try to get as many as you can. Blood and sweat for you guys. <laughs> Blood and sweat. And then after that, let's finish up with a nice two-mile lap. All right, this doesn't have to be anything, but just go at your own good pace and then have a little app to tell you how far you're running. And then if you want to be beast, you can add ankle weights, but make sure they're only two pounds at first. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this Tough Like the Tunes. I had a blast making it. And, you know, if you want to see more Tough Like the Tunes, be sure to follow me on my Facebook page and my Twitter page. Actually, my Twitter followers got to see what this Tough Like the Tunes was earlier. And be sure to follow me on my uh, Tumblr. And Patreon helps me so much. Like, I cannot thank you guys. Like, they're the reason I actually did it. Actually, shout out to Pants. All right, you're the one who did this. And also, shout out to Aquaburst for doing the Tough Like the Tunes logo at the beginning. Thank you so much for that. And uh, I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe and share with all your friends. And remember, like Rock Lee and Mike Guy proved, you can be the best of the best among talented people. All you gotta do is work hard. I hope you enjoyed today's Tough Like Tunes. And remember, like I always say, keep calm and booyah on. And don't forget, moment time. Train hard.